Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I am going to be doing my makeup. I don't really do my makeup that often and I'm not that good at it, but I felt like today I wanted to do something a little different. I've done this look before and I just really like it. And so I was like, you know what? We're gonna do it and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. We'll see how that goes. Wanna do a funky red eyeliner and then give my face a little bit of a glowy, sun-kissed look. So we'll see how it pans out. Hopefully this will look good at the end. But I mean, you kinda never know with me. I am not consistent in my makeup at all because I'm not very good at makeup. For blush, I always start with blush. I don't know why. I'm using this Benetint by Benefit in this shade. I don't know, the red one. There's no name on it. Basically, it's like this little brush and you just do like that and then you pat it in. I like to go over my nose. Uh, going over your nose makes you look like you kind of burnt a tiny bit and then it just gives you such a nice sun-kissed look. I really suggest also like wetting your face when you're doing this. Wet your face a little bit, it'll help you mix the blush and kind of put it all over. I also like to go into my under eyes a little bit because I don't do concealer and so the blush brightens my under eyes a little bit. Although I like the dark under eye look, I find that it, it gives you a little bit of mystery. No, it doesn't. I just am too lazy to do concealer. Every single time that I've done concealer, it's caked up under my eyes and I just looked so freaking bad. So never doing that again unless I find this like magic concealer that doesn't make me look cakey. Let's brush my eyebrows. I've never brush my eyebrows. I brush my eyebrows like twice a year. I don't even know if I'm brushing them right now. Okay, whatever. So what I do when I'm doing this look, first of all, take a brush like this with like a, a harder tip like this, okay? And then I spray it so that it's a little bit wet. Obviously like not too wet. Then it, the thing doesn't stick to it. I don't know what I'm saying. What I like to use is this Fenty Beauty. I think it's the matte lipstick, not matte, the glossy red lipstick. It's gorgeous. I wish I had the guts to wear this on my lips. But I just don't think it would suit me well. I use this lipstick. I take this wet kind of damp, not wet, damp brush. And I just like take lipstick off the tip. Okay. And then I draw my wing. I need to do this in the mirror. I'm going to f*** up. What I like about wings is I feel like if I'm wearing winged eyeliner, I don't have to wear mascara. <gasps> Look at that beauty. Ew. Ugly. I did it too on the side. I should have done it more up. See that that one's better. So obviously this is like the first step. You just draw a line, and then what I do is I draw a line inward of my eye after to make it kind of like a triangle, maybe. Oof, that's a big yikes. I need to rework my eyeliner skills. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sick. <laughs> Looks like I have like a fire. Kind of looks bad though. I think I prefer just the one eyeliner thing. Ah. A thing that is key when making a look like this is micellar water because I always mess up and I have to like redo it seven times. Micellar water is necessary because lipstick like this does not come off easily. Like soap will not cut it. You need a really strong micellar water. Oh my God. You don't want to stain your eyes. So if you don't have micellar water, you need to buy it before you try a look like this, I would say. Because lipstick, just like it does not come off. You can already tell it's very resilient. I'm so sorry to those that are actually here for a makeup look. Oh shit, I just spilled the lipstick. Oh my god, I'm f***ing dumbass. Okay, uh, I'm actually proud of myself for this. This is insane. I'm obsessed with the song Congratulations by Mac Miller and Bilal, Bilal. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. So now we're going in for round two. I'm gonna take a little bit more lipstick. Okay, that's literally fucking perfect. I'm good at this. What the f That's like fierce. Okay, I'm done doing that. I'm gonna like fiddle and then I'm gonna mess it up even more. So this might not be funky to some people. This is hella funky for me. Something I never really do is highlighter. So I guess we could do some highlighter. But I like to do my tricks because I have only powder highlighters, which I really don't like because I don't like powder, period. So I use this NYX Huile Prodigieuse. It smells incredible. And it's like a face oil, I guess. I take the tiniest amount and I just go here. I rub it into my skin and it gives me a little glow. It looks just very natural, you see? What else can we do? Oh, you know what? I have a very pink lipstick from Clinique. I don't know if it'll clash with the red, but I'm, you know what? We're adventuring out right now. I am not used to doing this. These are so cute. Oh, that's like a pinkish red almost. Holy sh**. 
who is this person? I'm not sure the pink looks that good. I hate it on me. We got a darker one. We're gonna try to... See, I told you guys, red lipstick is not it on me. Okay, it's fine. We are trying to look different. I look so pale because of the bright colors. I feel like I should do a little bit of mascara. So usually I wouldn't do it, you know? This is how I curl my lashes because I don't have a good eyelash curler. Okay, another thing I wouldn't do is put some under, so we're gonna do that. I feel like a circus person. It's the, ah, I think it's the lip. It just doesn't look good. I'm taking a random piece of paper, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> that wasn't very effective. It just looks better like tapped out. I actually like it like this, when you just take off the excess kind of. And then we're gonna do lip injection. Actually might make my lips more red, so that was stupid. Okay, now that my makeup is done, I feel so unattractive at the moment. Okay, so I know I'm known for hair clips, so that wouldn't be changing my appearance. However, since I cut my hair, I have not worn a hair clip once. I always wear my hair in like an ugly ass bun. It doesn't stick, like it's slipping out, and I look like an old lady. What can I do with my hair? Pigtails, or like high pigtails. Who is she? Why is it longer on one side? That is uh, concerning. So now we've got pigtails. I don't know. Look, we're trying to look different. I would never wear this. Maybe we're discovering something new. We're discovering a new me. I have such a big ass forehead. Okay, I never plan my videos. In case you had not noticed, my channel is the most freaking all over the place channel on YouTube. I'm not sure if this is absolutely hideous or kind of cute. I actually have the perfect shirt that I just got from UNIF that it is my style, but I have a style in my mind. I just never wear anything that is my style. <laughs> I always just cover myself up with a crew neck or something because I'm insecure. So I'm going to be wearing a new UNIF piece that I really think will look good with this makeup and this look, so. Oh, my boob was out. Does this suit the vibe? I think it does. I think it really, really does. This top really suits my makeup. You can't really, ah! Oh, who is she? I don't recognize her. This is like so, not my style, it's insane. Oh, this hair. Okay, and then bottoms. I don't know what bottoms. I feel like baggy, low-rise jeans would look good with this, maybe. Or a skirt. Oh my god, wait. The bottom of this- I'm literally walking around my underwear in this video. The bottom part of the set of the top I was wearing earlier might look kind of cute with this. So let's try it. This- What the fuck? This is so nice. Like, I would never wear this. Wait, I don't know if it's nice actually. Girl, I'm so in love with you. Is this nice? Like, is this a vibe? I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I think maybe we could find better bottoms, to be honest. Actually, I feel like the black with the brown kind of clash. I'm not sure I like this. We're gonna find another bottom. <laughs> Blank dress up is so fun. <laughs> Um, we'll try it. I think that's another thing that everyone should do is just try stuff on even if you think it'll might look it'll might Jesus even if you think it might look ugly Ah, uh, the skirt is too small. You never know. You never know. I almost blushed. Okay. Oh wow The skirt is way too fucking small. It's so cute though. I wish this fit so bad Why are my legs like this? Ugh. Uh, this is not it. This doesn't really go well together. If you guys like this skirt, go check out my Depop. I'm selling it on Depop for way cheaper than it is on the website. Ow. Uh, oh. <sighs> Casually picking up stuff from my floor because I am a mess. Girl, I'm so in love. I think this might be the... Uh, actually, it's kind of sick. I need to unbutton. I kind of like this. Do we like? I think she's the one. I really do. Yeah, she's the one. This mirror is shitty, but we got the super baggy pants with the sweater that kind of opens at the bottom. This chain necklace. I don't feel like myself at all. <laughs> Go see my sister's awake. Oh, you know what I'm missing? This, I feel like, would tie the whole look together. I'm not sure. Does this do it? I feel like the look is too baggy for this. Mom, you done? I'm not sure if this bag does it or not. I just don't look like myself. It's like gym. I'm really going all out. It's like the rouge à lèvres rose. It's not something that I would do Guys, I'm so proud. Oui. Oui. No, but I'm just like, wow, I'm so proud of me. Thank you so much for watching. Me transform myself to look as different as possible. As different of myself. Ça Are you asking me? I feel like I did a pretty decent job. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you in my next video. Bye.